Hello and welcome again to another painting video. In today's video, I'll be painting a mountain range that accounts for 80% of India's hydropower generation. I'm talking about the Western Ghats, the mountain range parallel to the western coast of the Indian Peninsula and an oldest mountains in the world form around 150 million years ago. To make the sky, I have covered blue-green background with a cold glaze, titanium white and raw sienna. The violet-like structures near the horizon are the mountain observed from a far distance. The idea of the painting is the observer is standing at a high altitude and observing a large western Ghat landscape. I have decided to make this painting during the visit to my village near to Kas Plateau, which is one of the most beautiful parts of Western Ghats. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is one of the eight hotspots of biological diversity in the world. These Ghats also blocks the southeast monsoon clouds, which is a true blessing for the Indian economy. The entire hill range has been a great reservoir of natural wealth. And I always feel that this region is having so much to offer. Still, it is not part of any topics of discussion. Due to the unawareness and illiteracy about the importance of this region, which is under serious threat now. To make this mountain range, I'm using the raw sienna type green and look at those tiny brush strokes, sufficient enough to get a sense of the substance. I must mention that subject matter comes out so gracefully because of the inherent capabilities of those oil paints and they possess enough strength to make the painter's infinite imagination into a measurable reality. A small brush stroke and I am done with the painting. The concept of aesthetics of this painting mesmerizes me and there is an idea about this painting, some kind of a rhythm touching those mountain peaks put me back onto the seat to find out the vanishing point of those curvy roads. I hope you guys must have liked it and if so then you know the drill. So see you next time.